Uh, let's look at some surfaces uh, expressed in terms of cylindrical coordinates. So for our first example, we consider z equals 2r. All right, so what the first thing you notice here is that there's no theta. So in other words, this is independent of the angle of rotation that you've passed through. So just like for if, if we had a, um, say, a, a, a Cartesian equation that did not have a z in it, so like maybe x equals uh, y, right? So you know that this one is going to be some plane and it looks like the line x equals y, and then it just extends vertically as much as you want because there's no restriction on z, right? And so for something like this, we have the same idea. There's no restriction on the theta. So the easiest thing to do is just say, okay, what would it look like if I, I'm going to make this my direction r, and then here's uh, z. So z equals 2r, so this is, uh, now I'm mentally thinking y equals 2x right on these labeled axes and so it's just a line of slope 2 like this but then it's independent of direction so it's like I could take that R uh, axis here and I could rotate it around and so when I do that it's going to swoop out this surface of, of revolution basically so there we have it so this guy's going to give me cones um, so let's look at another example like this. So suppose we have z equals r squared. So for this one, also, there's no theta involved here. So um, I can do the same thing and say, okay, so if I, I look at this, like uh, here's my r and here's my z, then this thing is going to look like a parabola. Um, and that's, so this is what it would look like if I were to fix a theta. So this is for fixed theta. Um, but we can do this in, in any direction. So in order to draw the full meal deal of the picture, I should, I should spin that guy around and here, let's switch to green. And we'll get that paraboloid. Yeah, not a bad paraboloid if I do say so myself. Okay, so let's look at one more. Uh, suppose we have r equals 6 cosine theta. Oh, okay, so now, now this one has no z. So that means it, instead of uh, being something that, that's rotationally symmetric necessarily, it translates vertically. Right? So the, the underlying idea is that no matter what z value I, I were to fix, the, that horizontal trace uh, would look the same. So let's see. So going back to the xy plane, um, we see that r equals cosine theta is a circle. And so we've done this example before, but um, so I won't go through it in, in great detail. But what we end up with after completing the square is an off-centered circle. So it's a circle that's actually moved out a little bit like this, right? And so if we have uh, 6 cosine theta, then that just means that our um, diameter out here is going to be 6. So that when we... Um, raise it then vertically, we're going to have a cylindrical cylinder which uh, is sort of attached to the, the z-axis. So the z-axis comes up the, the, the back of it just like that. 